hello. I'm just heading up as far as um, Malahide Castle to go for a walk. Um, this is a it's a public park. It was owned like way back when the British owned. Well, when when Britain ruled Ireland for 800 years, like they had landlords, right? And um, of course they carved up all the land in Ireland for themselves. And he had these big um, stately homes, and um, this Manahai Castle was one of those stately homes. And of course, there's three of them on, my, on the way from my home up to towards Dublin: Argyllan Castle, Newbridge House, and Manahai Castle. And um, yeah, they were owned by the British uh, landlords, and I don't know how they ended up back in the state, but they're now public parks, and they're lovely to go for walks around. Yeah, this is a lovely walk around the, <coughs> the perimeter of uh, Malahide Castle. It's about two, three mile maybe. And um, but I, I'll go into the the town of Malahide, which is kind of a nice town. It's Malahide is definitely middle class um, and affluent. A lot of professional people well off people live in Malahide so um, this is on the north side of Dublin city so but this is an exceptional place to go for a walk it's lovely loads of fields in here for people to picnic and walk around and um, yeah very very nice indeed yeah so as I previously said right the British had their empire and Ireland were an exempt from being invaded by the British so they ruled us for 800 years and they built fantastic places like, like these for themselves obviously so our ancestors would have been the peasants you know working for them on the land and uh, yeah so that's that was I said to you the, the empire building but then again there was Romans had an empire the Turks had empires, loads of people had empires, so... So you can walk around here and do exercises at the same time. You can do so this one here, station two is press-ups. See? Press-ups. Beginners plus five times, regulars ten times, advanced fifteen times. I'll take a rain check on that. absolutely love trees I really do hate to see someone um, knocking over a tree unless it's a, it's, a, it's a forest for specifically for um, the timber trade like you know for you, we all need timber like I mean your doors in your house your skirt and your roofs on your house and various buildings but I mean like um, to go into a place like of natural beauty and knock down lovely trees, no, that's not what I would suggest people do at all. But this is just, this is a lovely walk, I have to say. It's just, it's a um, lovely breeze blowing here now. Nice, nice breeze, nice sunshine, high cloud. This is the last day of August 2018. Pull ups. Tell you, I was crap at school at um, physical education. I have to say, it was terrible at doing. Like, not in, nothing to do with being unfit. I just couldn't get the hang of doing, you know, parallel bars and uh, all those kind of, you know, gym type things. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, do them. Or I, I, I had no interest actually, to be honest with you. But I do like walking and being out in the open and exploring the um, places, nature. So you can't beat nature. It's just, it's just lovely.
the horizontal ladder. Ladder. I want to try this. See how fit I am. See me any good. Unusual looking plant. It reminds me of um, rhubarb. Rhubarb and custard. Wow, look at the, look at the carving on this tree. That's that's amazing. Obviously, this tree part of it fell down and they carved. Got someone to carve it, right? here. I don't play golf by the way but anyway. It's amazing. Like I find golf boring. No time for it. I, I have no interest in it whatsoever. So and yet it's uh, I think for the size of Ireland we have the most uh, golf courses in, in the whole of Europe. We're a real big uh, golfing nation. But then there's an awful lot of stuck up snobby golf courses that I just love to bulldoze them out of it and turn them into public parks. I hate snobbery of any kind. No time for it whatsoever. So there's six tennis courts here. Um, this is now on in the park here. That's the six tennis courts. There's a nine hole golf course and a pitch and putt course. And then over here is a cricket ground. And this is where the National Irish cricket team plays. This is their, their main, the main um, arena that they play in. And only about, I don't know, a month or two back, they played Pakistan here. And he had, you know, they had stands brought in all around here. It's lovely little, with all the trees in the background, it's lovely in the summertime. Um, and Mick Jagger, of course, he's mad into cricket. He was up here watching the match, of course. Pakistan beat Ireland, you know. They're uh, not that I'm a big connoisseur of cricket either. I don't really, I don't really care about cricket, but that's, that's the cricket course out there. Yeah, so I'll wander on again. I go down into the village here of Malahide and I might get a cup of tea or I might wait till I come out of the park and go somewhere cheaper because this is Malahide you know Mala you have to, you have to kind of take a deep breath and go Malahide that's how they talk up here they're really like you know middle class Malahide, Malahide. yes Malahide oh it's breezy here now on the last day of August, wow. The sun is shining right down upon me here now. It's just, oh, it's just lovely. And the forecast says we are going to have a reprieve in the summer weather for the weekend. We're after having an exceptional uh, summer here in Ireland. Um, loads of sunshine throughout the whole summer because like, you just cannot predict the weather here in Ireland. One day it could be really sunny, the next day it could be pouring rain. We always have loads of cloud cover in the country. And I suppose that's why, um, you know, they say Ireland is so green because of all the rain we get. Or, or, or inclement weather. 
as one would say, inclement weather. Here's a little tree over here. into yachting up here in Malahide and north up here towards um, Holt and back a bit towards Skerries. They're all into yachting and boats so as I said to you it's it's um, a kind of an, an affluent middle class type area but it's a nice nice place nice 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 town and this is this is the Malahide estuary it, go, it goes in white in behind them buildings and around and it goes out there, over there, towards uh, the Irish Sea, over there. move up here to Malahide into one of these big houses. Why not? It'd be called, most people when they get older they downsize. I'll Church of Ireland, um, church obviously, and graveyard here. I just wonder to myself, when you die, is there such a thing as middle class worms, lower class worms, or upper class worms? I don't think so, but somebody will probably prove me wrong on that. But anyway, behind me here, I just see a sign, that house over here is for sale. It's on 1.6 acres. Um, it's pretty private right in exclusive matter hide so if I win the lottery um, well I want to win, it, win a, good, a, a good few million in order to buy that house there anyway right I'm out of the town and back into the park in Mal Malahide Castle Park um, and I'm just walking back down towards my car now and I'm, I feel a bit so this is Malahide Castle, I'll go around to the castle in a minute but I'm really hungry and I want to get some food and I'll go in here to the Avoca shop which is a bit dear but um, I can't wait, I'm just starving. 